Good afternoon to one and all present here. I am pleased to introduce Mr. Virju Mistri, a renowned HR leader with a rich career spanning multiple industries including pharmaceuticals, petrochemicals, information technology and the knowledge sector. With over two decades of experience, Virju Sir has excelled in managing HR functions across the globe, working in regions such as US, Latin, APAC, Africa, the Middle East and Europe. Currently, Sir serves as the head of HR in Ami Life Science, where he has been instrumental in driving the company's HR strategies for the past two years. Before this role, he led global HR at Zydus Group, overseeing HR operations for commercial, L&D &D and manufacturing units across 18 countries. His tenure at Zydus is marked by his adeptness in talent management, leadership development and organizational design. Sir's career also includes significant roles at Reliance Industries, TCS, Nelson and Cadena Pharmaceuticals. In this position, he demonstrated his ability to build high performance teams, manage change effectively and develop leadership coaching programs. His academic background includes a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering and an MBA in human resource management. Sir's career is a testament to his exceptional HR leadership and his ability to deliver impactful results in diverse and challenging environments. We welcome you, sir. I would also like to welcome Ms. Krina Chauksi, Learning and Development Head at Ami Life Science with over two years experience. She has pursued B Electrical and has an MBA degree from Surprises. Welcome you ma'am. I would now like to invite our Honorable Dean Dr. Sunita Sharma ma'am to felicitate our esteemed guest with the token of gratitude. Inspired and kind of you know 
made me pursue PhD with her. So I'm also doing PhD from this college. So I think I'm on the both side, this side as well as that side when you do functions like this. Uh, also would like to kind of, you know, acknowledge Karina. The reason of having her here is to kind of tell you, I think if she is a testament to the topic that we are going to talk about today. Two years into uh, into uh, the job, she has kind of achieved and she has delivered and she has covered the ground with apparently people, very, very bright people take around five, seven, eight years to reach and she has actually done it in the first year. And she basically leads uh, the learning and development of capability initiatives in Amilak Center. So, welcome Trina and both of us are kind of As I tell in all my first lectures, I think I am not here to teach anything. I think I am here to learn. So it, it's like saying more you ask, more I can talk about. So I think this session is not going to be a monotone or a one-way session. I think the topic that uh, has been assigned to me is extremely important for all of you. And all of you are here to achieve some or the other goals of your life and this two years in FMS is going to be that kind of journey that you will travel to which takes you towards your goal and this topic is apparently one of the most important elements of that journey so please ask questions uh, you know uh, more questions you ask more I'll be able to dwell upon and clarification that you need. Go to the presentation. So, the topic is how to prepare for time. So, what we do is we'll, uh, we'll end around uh, in 45 minutes to 1 hour and then I will kind of keep it open for question and answer. If there are no questions, I will ask questions to you. Right? So, and this so marks may be impact on the Questions, mere questions. Right? So, uh, the topic for today is how to prepare for campus interviews. And the mode of this session, I am going to keep on asking you questions. And we are going to brainstorm all what campus interview is all about. So, what is campus interview? Last ventures I like. So, ye no me last. What is campus interview for you? Bada 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 ga. Aapke baju wale ko mujhe. Wo musko ra ra. Basically, in that case, it's money in your kind of uh, you know 
आपके ऑनलाइन जो टैग है फास्टैग के अंदर अगर पैसा होता है तो खुलता है नहीं होता है तो होता है वापस जाओ या फिर भर के आ जाओ तो सेम वे कैंपस इंटरव्यूज आर लाइक दिस तो वन एवर जर्नी यू ट्रैवल फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट बी आई थिंक दैट्स द वैलिडेशन और दैट्स द रेलेवेंस ऑफ यू नो वेदर दैट डोर ऑफ कंपनी डोर ऑफ करियर ओपन फॉर यू वन and that is what campus interview is all about and what i thought of uh, kind of you know talking about today is how and what you should do so that aapka jo fast track hai aapko completely charge rahe to jab bhi aap wo target pe pahunche na to darwaza apne aap khul jaye to aapko aapka kai baar kya hota hai ke aapka fast track saath mein hota hai to scan nahi hota hai kai baar usme balance nahi hota hai kai baar balance expire ho gaya hota hai kai baar device hi nahi hua hota hai wo sab zaruri hota hai There are lot of things that is needed for the gate to open. So I basically call this campus interview as a campus to career track. Ball game they want to do. So that is that is precisely what I feel the campus interview is all about. So we will try and understand this piece in three piece. So. It's like first you have to understand what is the process before interview के होता है, during interview के होता है, post interview के होता है. It's it's all process. I share this presentation with you, so no need to hide it. Now it's it's open. I I actually want you to kind of listen here, uh, listen to what we want to talk about rather than spending your energy in writing it down. Before I get into it, in fact, morning say you have kind of been to. Three four sessions, right? The so first was more like doing that kind of exercise to bring you here, so that all of you have that you know emotional energy to kind of you know, go to around eight sessions today, eight nine sessions in the day today, seven eight sessions, long day, different topics, different people coming and talking about you know their experiences, their wisdom. So. So you had that, then there's something about mythology, there's something about Ramayana and etc. Right? So what do you, what, what state of mind you are at currently? How how do you feel uh, attending this session? So this is more technical session. There were more broad, conceptual, spiritual sessions. ये थोड़ा अंधे वाला session है ना? वो session थोड़े conceptual level के थे. How are you all? Ready to talk business? Yes, sir. आवाज़ भी नहीं आया. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. हम लोगों के टाइम पे 36 लोग थे अपने मस्त कैंप में. 36 and how many of you? You are 80, 90, 90. So double आवाज़ आने चाहिए तो आधे लोग भी नहीं आया हम लोगों से. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, The energy standard that I expect out of this. Last thing, just क्या कर रहे हो? हम तो बैठ के अपनी आवाज़ को करते थे भी। So how are you all? Fine. So great. So uh, with this, I'll kind of try and well into. So what what do you uh, what do you all think you should be doing? My kind of vision. So, what do you think you should uh, you should do in uh, coming 18 months before they actually December next year is when you all have, will kind of you know, start getting into the campus sector you want. This year, this year, this year. This year, so what do you think from today? Let's assume it's first of July. So for another 182 days, I think after campus is December, January start okay. October, November में दिवाली है. So let's say 140 days, 130 days. What? That's not important. What do you think you should be doing from today till that day? So we do that. We have to. Uh, give to me. I'm 
first thing coming, uh, it's like, what is resume? CV resume. Technicality money, I don't want to make color related, I don't want to make color related, I don't want to make Basically, it's a profile of an individual, so the company gets an overview of a person, so they can get an idea what person brings to the table. So basically, it's an overview of an individual, so that they can know what is the qualification of the person, what he has done, what experience does he have. So it gives an overview of an individual, so that the company can ask questions accordingly and know what is best for them. Okay, so it's, it's a profile of a person, what you bring to the table, how fit you are. So it's it's basically like most but I mean again correct me if I'm wrong but FMS में जो लोग CV लेके आते हैं कैंपस में कि आप सबका टेम्परेट थोड़ा भी सेम ही होता है कि इस डिफरेंट टेम्परेट को यूज़ आई डोंट नो लॉर्ड ऑफ कॉलेज इधर सेम टेम्परेट Which you all apply to ensure 
that whatever is written in CV is factually correct. So or you leave it to me as an organization to validate. No, no, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. So, the question is, it also is a question of me or just no more. Currently, so there is no such mechanism of validating the data of whatever the students. But we as a placement committee are deriving some policies about how to go about it. So we have just been uh, like handed over everything. So this year we will be enhancing some policies, also implementing some to ensure there is transparency between the company and the candidates as well as the placement committee and the candidates and the placement committee and the company. Oh, good. So what? So. So when you when you build a resume, uh, I mean the first thing job to come as well, that as an as an institute you should have some sort of a standard, uh, not to say that as a template me banana, but there has to be some broad guidelines. The reason being because as a as an organisation हम जब campus में आएंगे ना तो हमें पता है आप सब academics में ही पढ़ रहे हो, हमें ये भी पता है कि आप सब लोग MBA ही कर रहे हो, तो Seventy eighty का. Imagine me going to market to hire marketing manager. वहाँ पे मुझे अलग-अलग company अलग-अलग college के CV लाएंगे. But यहाँ पे तो मुझे पता है कि आने वाला है मेरे पास. तो seventy eighty percent चीज तो मुझे पता है. How do you then ensure standardisation as well as differentiation? How do you stand out? So resume आपका बहुत ही clear and concise होना चाहिए, professional appearance होना चाहिए, subtle fonts and format होने चाहिए. Now I have seen a lot of people, I have actually seen an FMS Kahi Yehi College Ka CV to Pura Capital Mein Bada Tha. The whole CV was in Capital. It's very strange, right? So you need to have a certain level of standardization because kya hota hai ki jab mein campus ke liye aara ho as an organization, right? I will also create impression about the about the institute, the meaning, as the alumni of this institute. I have an emotional bias for you. But let's say a company coming in which there is no alumni, I may not have a very pro or anti bias, and they will start assessing and judging the institute also based on what they are doing. Just imagine somebody giving a whole capital in the See, I mean it's 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 a lot on on the uh, individuals so they need to select, let's say, but then the institute will be judged kiya So you would be smart in, in that sense. So ideally what you should do is you should fix the uh, appearance and the font size. I think eleven generally is the font size time C I A. So use that level of standardization and you say that everybody has to kind of you know C V has to be something similar. What it should contain and what it should not contain is that you know ideally everybody should have a contact information, education, experience, DIP, skills, certification, awards recognition and hobbies broadly because whenever we come for as I told you we already know that you are MBA marketing, MBA finance from some institute. We also done a first level filter where we know that after graduation kya hai, after qualification kya hai, then us kya hai kya hai. So, aapka CV kya additional information mujhe dhe raha hai, jo mujhe mere decision mein help karega, before actually getting down into the interview, is what you should put in. And what are some of those things? Go back to that. Experience. So, basically at a campus level, what is it that we do? We look at after summer, इंटर्नशिप कहाँ किया है क्या किया है सो आपका समर इंटर्नशिप के बारे में आपको यू शुड मेबी कैन ऑफ राइट समथिंग सब बोले पॉइंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव और बॉडी वर्चिव इन योर टॉपिक सेकंड थिंग इज व्हाट यू हैव एनी एडिशनल सर्टिफिकेशन एनी एडिशनल कोर्स दैट यू डन समर यू कैन कैपेबिलिटी � I think I, when I go and interview somebody, I really look for the hobbies and interests. That I feel, your hobby is your kind of, you know, your personality to reflect on me. And people 
with watching cricket and listening music wali hobby i actually want to interview on the everybody writes it on listening music to india mein koi karta hai watching cricket so what i am interested in do you really have an hobby india mein everybody watches cricket koi hai jo cricket nahi dekhta ab dekhte hain to hum sab right so right that piece down that's that's extremely important because that talks about you as a person and whenever we go in see whenever we come for campus interview we are not looking at somebody we are looking at future leaders we are looking at potential of you all to make an impact in the organization and your cv should be reflective of that potential aur aapka potential mujhe kaise pata chalega aapka degree to sabka same hai college bhi same hai आपका पोटेंशियल पता चलेगा आपने क्या सर्टिफिकेशन किए हैं आपने कुछ समर इंटर्नशिप में क्या किया है ग्रांड प्रोजेक्ट फिर आपका आपका इंटरव्यू उस ग्रांड प्रोजेक्ट से पहले हो जाता है बट यू कैन ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट कंटेम्प्रेरी इश्यूज अगर आपने कुछ स्टडी किए हैं तो गुड दैट ऑल्सो देट आई डन रिसर्च इन इन सर्टन एरिया सो दोज आर समीड टू एंड पुस्ट इन योर सी वी रेदर देन सेंग दैट यू नो आई वन कैंड ऑफ यू नो क्या बोलते हैं नीमू चम नीमू चमच वाला रेस इन माई नर्सरी क्लास आई कैन फर्स्ट आई वो सिल्वर मैन इज विच इज दिन आउटलाइट स्टूपेड एंड लुक्स वेरी सीवी बट पीपल वाई आप में ही दिखा होगा बहुत सारे लोगों ने कि सेकंड स्टैंडर्ड में मैं क्रिकेट टीम का कैप्टन था उससे क्या फर्क पड़ता है भाई सो राइट डाउन थिंग्स विच आर एप्रोप्रिएट ऑन दैट फोरम एंड डुट यू इन अगेटिव लाइट नेक्स्ट थिंग some do's and don'ts i think one thing you have to be massively clear is that put on the of facts you have to be honest anybody who has been dishonest for example last year last few months back when i was looking at grand projects assessment team as part of it here there were two or three cases with people who put in wrong information in the grand project and i will just because Again, emotions are to be one of those while anybody is lying. But at a personal level, she knows if there are integrity issues, companies will not tolerate it at all. Right? So, bench, जो भी कम लिखो आपसे कोई ऐसा expectation नहीं है कि आपने दुनिया हिला दी है. जो भी लिखो, सच लिखो. Do not try and bluff. Do not try and put things which are factually incorrect. If you get caught in an interview having bluff. Having put in information which are incorrect, forget about that company. Your institute also kind of gets a bad name, and if it becomes very, very it kind of blows out of proportion, our career will get impacted. So do not write factually incorrect or factually misleading information in your CV. Many times when we do campus interviews or when even freshers can interview, people have put lot of stuff in their CV. When you ask them, they say, "Ah, ha, ye to mujhe pata nahi." Then why did you write? Wow, wow, likha tha. So read your CV at least 500 times. If you feel there is something which you are not comfortable addressing, it's good to remove it. But do not write things which you don't know about. So you know, for example, somebody like. Right, that you know, hobbies. So I, mean, I like studying the political environment. So that I, when Jita Baroda said election, I don't know what he was saying. So whatever you write in CV, please ensure that you know at least the contemporary issues around those things. You have because company, what will you ask for in the interview? You will ask for what you ask for. Eighty, ninety percent people will ask. What you have written? If you don't know what you have written, then then there is no chance. And lot of companies come here not saying that I have to get 10 lakh chairs. I think that companies which have come have not taken anybody. The reason it fails is that they were looking for something and they didn't get it. So do not write things which are which you don't know about and read your CV very well because lot of people write something when you ask them, "Well, okay, let me see. Okay, this is written. Okay, this is written. Okay, this is written. Okay, this is written." And I am actually telling you live examples, right? So it may sound stupid and funny, but 
लॉ ऑफ पीपल राइट समथिंग मैंने वास दे हैव नो प्रूफ अबाउट इट मैं तो वो गलती से भी किया था निकाल ना रह गया था यानी इट कंप्लीटली किल्स योर कैंडिडेचर एक्स्ट्रा क्यूरिकुलर स्टफ राइट नाउ इफ यू रियली हैव समथिंग गुड इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट डोंट राइट स्टूपिड थिंग्स व्हिच आर नॉट रेलेवेंट राइट सो फॉर एग्जांपल यू आर यू आर आर पार्ट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ कमिटीज इन फैक्ट दे राइट डाउन अबाउट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इट टॉक्स अबाउट योर लीडरशिप केपेबिलिटीज इट टॉक्स अबाउट वॉलेंटरी स्टफ अगर आपने कुछ वॉलेंटरी कुछ बार काम किया प्लीज राइट इट डाउन इफ यू एकेडमिक एक्सेलेंस है आपका राइट इट डाउन अगर आपका स्पोर्ट्स में है राइट इट डाउन अगर आपका किसी आर्ट फॉर्म में है राइट इट डाउन इफ यू अचीव समथिंग राइट नाउ एवरी थिंग विच यू फील इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बट इट हैज टू बी कंटेप लास्ट तीन चार साल में कुछ किया हो ऐसा डालो डोंट पुट इट समथिंग विच यू डन इट इन योर नर्सरी में किया है या आपने बहुत दस पंद्रह बीस साल पहले किया है पुट डाउन थिंग्स विच आर मोर रेलिवेंट मोर कंटेम्प्रेरी इन टर्म्स ऑफ अवॉइड अननेसेसरी चार्जर्स अगर आप बाहर से सीवी बनवा रहे हैं किसी प्रोफेशनल से तो दे विल ट्राई टू ड्रॉ ऑफ चार बट आई वेन और आई यू कैम प्रोजेक्ट करू आई एक्चुअली आज भी ओके री इंजीनियरिंग लिखा है आपने तो क्या होता है री इंजीनियरिंग एंड पर्सन हैज नो आइडिया वो वॉट इट मीन्स तो किसी ने बोला कि री इंजीनियरिंग हमने रिव्यू करके कुछ बदला था जैसे हमने ले आउट बदला वैसे ये क्लासरूम का हमने ले आउट बदला तो से के भी चेंज का ले आउट तो उनसे भी री इंजीनियर जो वे कैंड ऑफ मेरा क्लास रूम वॉज बी कंडक्टेड आई थिंक यू यू मे इट मे साउंड वेरी फ्लावरी बट इट यू नॉट एबल टू कैंड ऑफ जस्टिफाइड यू मे लुक वेरी स्टूपेड इन दैट डोंट ट्राई टू बी टू क्रिएटिव यूजिंग वेरी क्रिएटिव फॉर्म्स यू नो इफ यू इफ यू गुड फोटोग्राफ्स डोंट गुड गोवा में
और ये एफ की बात कर रहा हूँ एफ में भी स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक होते हैं मतलब करार प्रोजेक्ट के टाइटल में स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक देखे हमने सुनीता मैडम के नाम के स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक देखा हुआ है जो लिखते हैं प्रोजेक्ट का उस दिन आके आप बोले मैं स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक किया तो मैं क्या जज करूंगा ये ऐसे ही होएगा राइट सो प्लीज एंश्योर दैट यू नो यू डू अ वेरी वेरी प्रॉपर स्पेलिंग गेट इट रिव्यूड बाय समबडी इफ इट मेक्स सेंस दैट यू गिव इट टू समबडी समबडी दैट समबडी सी तो ये आपको इनपुट देगा अंदर कुछ करेक्शन से तो बताएगा तो यू कैन ऑलवेज डू इट देयर तो व्हाट डू यू पीडीएफ आई थिंक द बेस्ट वे इज बिकॉज़ क्या होता है कि आप अगर वर्ल्ड में बेचते हैं कई बार वर्जन इशू होते हैं आपने किसी वर्जन में हमारा है जब रिक्रूटर देख रहा है तो किसी और वर्जन में देख रहा है ज्यादातर रिक्रूटर भी मोबाइल फोन पे देखते हैं तो वर्ल्ड जो होती है उसकी फॉर्मेटिंग भी हो जाती है सो यू शुड एक्चुअली सेव इट इन पीडीएफ एंड सेंड इट इन पीडीएफ तो ज्यादातर सीरीज तो भी व्हाट्सएप पे भी होते हैं राइट सो व्हेन आई लुक एट इट ऑन व्हाट्सएप पीडीएफ इज अ इज अ 90% शॉर्ट शॉर्ट है यू नो फॉर्मेटिंग में नॉट सेम सीवी अप्लाई टू मल्टीपल कंपनी मल्टीपल रोल में नॉट बी अ गुड आइडिया एग्जांपल इफ यू इफ देयर इज अ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग लेट्स से रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज कम्स फॉर एन इंटरव्यू देन यू एंड यू कैन ट्राई एंड पुट मोर एफर्ट्स जैसे अगर आपका समर इंटर्नशिप कोई रेलेवेंट टॉपिक पे है ओके तो ट्राई यू कैन ट्राई टू फोकस मोर ऑन समर इंटर्नशिप और मे बी सम सर्ट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट दैट यू डन इफ अ बैंक कम्स टू You can underplay your summer internship and try and see what you've done in that the financial segment. You can, you can. Or if a contemporary issue, or a post segment, then you can talk more about it. So try and research the company. Try and understand what this company is all about. You know, uh, you can look at the recent happenings of that company. For you know, Adani ka issue, but a issue was a post. Let's say if an Adani comes here for finance. I'm sure that interview will focus on the other niche stock issue. I hope everybody knows about it. Yes, I know most of you should know it. So, just say, Hindu Bank has also Kotak Bank. We have also published a report. So, let's say tomorrow any finance company, banking sector will come and actually talk about that issue. So, you should know about such issues when when a company comes. So, it makes sense for you to research. About the company, what are the contemporary issues that company is doing? Then you will get an idea. You will get an idea. What are they? You can also, I think, one thing which uh, which I was shocked uh, about was uh, reviews on Glassdoor and admission forms. So we had a candidate who was supposed to join us from Hyderabad, and then four five days after the offer, he texted saying that I do not want to join. And Me and Yogita, you know, like seriously, kind of, you know, following up on that candidate, you know, we chaya ka ho kya kya. You know, very research and everything. I mean, he he was an expert or something. And when I spoke with him, he said admission box mein apna rating bahut kharaab hai. Tab tak toh humko admission box ke baare mein pata bhi nahi tha. And then we kind of looked at admission box, we looked at class two, we kind of corrected some of the mistakes we were making. So. It makes sense. आपको पता है admission box के बारे में? किसके लोग को नहीं पता है? Eighty percent of the class doesn't know about it. Class two है admission box. It's like जो Google rating होते हैं ना हर institute के वैसा employer का Google rating होता है तो वहाँ. So there are a lot of people who write about an organization or various elements. So it makes sense for you to go and study what this organization is, what people are saying. What employees are saying, what outside world is saying. Okay, so go and go and research about that company because see, 
अगर आप बाहर से इंटरव्यू में अपने आप कर रहे हो ना तो आप एक पोजीशन के लिए कॉम्पीट कर रहे हो बट आप अगर कैंपस में हो ना तो आप एक दूसरे के अगेंस्ट भी कॉम्पीट कर रहे हो सो यू हैव टू बी बेटर देन पर्सन सेटिंग ऑन योर राइट एंड लेफ्ट एंड इन अ पॉजिटिव सेंस आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू बी कैन ऑफ यू टू दिस अबाउट दिस बट एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे जैसे कंपनी इज वांटिंग टू हायर टू मैनेजमेंट ट्रेनिंग इन देम सिक्स पीपल अपीयर दे विल यू सिक्स आर कॉम्पीटिंग फॉर द दिस टू रोल्स राइट so you have to have that edge or other than some of the way you can get that in this kind of you know if you do all those things check with somebody working in an organization i think it makes sense if you know who your good alumni and who why don't you just call up somebody and say that campus mein aa raha hai kya kya dhyan rakhna chahiye kya puchna chahiye kya issue hai right so so when you get into the room you are actually well prepared for that I think that you know it's like saying that you you went on the ground to play the final, but you prepared or were you not? Let's say that Afghanistan team in semi-final, match to be a, but you were not prepared for that semi-final. They lost horribly, right? So you did all the hard work reaching, but if you are not prepared for that semi-final, you will not get the desired result, right? So same way, you know, it's all extremely competitive. You have to be smart. You have to be ahead of the curve. और आपको ये सब तैयारी करनी है। Any questions? Any questions? You can raise your hand. Next. So this is something which I have already kind of spoken about. The job description. देख लो क्या है। JD तो ज़्यादा तक कम ही बेस्टी है। तो आप study कर लो। आपका CV के साथ उसको kind of you know analyze कर लो। अगर आपको सीवी में कुछ थोड़ा सा मॉडिफिकेशन करना है सो दैट यू आर मोर फिट यू यू आर सी मोर फिट फॉर द रोल यू कैन टाइम ऑफ डू इट टेक्निकल प्रिपरेशन इज आल्सो एक्सट्रीमली इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज दैट से इफ आई एम रिक्रूटिंग समबडी फॉर फिनेंस राइट देन आई नीड यू टू नो बेसिक्स ऑफ फिनेंस और इफ आई एम रिक्रूटिंग समबडी फॉर मार्केटिंग देन आई शुड नो के फिल्म पार्टनर का फाइव पीस ऑफ मार्केटिंग क्या है एंड मतलब द फनीस्ट पार्ट आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर मार्केटिंग हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नो फिल्म पार्टनर हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नो फाइव पीस ऑफ मार्केटिंग फोर फोर मज़ा फोर So how many of you know who Pali is of marketing? Who is the father of marketing? Who is the most famous story from the Pali is of marketing? What are Pali? What are Pali? What are Pali? What are Pali? So if I ask, in this grand project, who is the father of marketing? And then we should say, oh, two or three people are there. तो फिर इस पार्टनर का नाम ही नहीं पता। राइट इट आई एम वेरी हैप्पी एट दिस पीपल, एट दिस यू नो अबाउट इट। सो वी, बिकॉज़ वी एक्सPECT यू टू आल्सो नो दिस साइड। सो यू नो ये ये बहुत फनी चीज होती है कि जब हम जाते हैं ना तो हम तो इंजीनियर्स हैं तो वो तो प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज होना चा� it's like saying what's the difference between a mechanical engineer and a mechanic. A mechanic is more practical, no? Mechanical, because mechanical engineer leader on that area, okay? Mechanic is not that. One thing is for Chada Puro. The reason is theoretical knowledge or theoretical awareness is the base for you to know practical. But now scale ho jata hai, wo aapka competence nahi honta hai. Wo it's a lot of theory, but I don't know venture into it. There are some fundamentals that you study because they were not that the first year they were not that they were not that they were not that it makes sense for you to I don't know to read to refresh some of the concepts latest trends in your field so for example what is the impact of social media on marketing you know earlier retail marketing had a different connotation today with social media there is a massive impact in the way and you know marketing is done because a lot of people bother us in terms of 
know, Facebook ke upar algorithms sabko pareshan karenge and you know reels mein and all of that stuff ki punch in which when the video corner ke jawan mein aur nahi hota tips for uh, you know you do i don't know whether you do mock interviews or not but what you should actually do is before your placement season starts mm. you should invite some five ten people and try and actually do a mock one or two rounds of interview so that you you know how it is because yeah what i have seen lot of bright students as soon as they just get in the room the anxiety level overwhelms them and i have had i have had interviews in which people have started shaking a very simple interview not even you know the interview so i think if you done it once or twice it, it will make more sense you can invite somebody you know, kind of you know do it because it is like a net practice if you done it and when you actually go in a in a field uh identify most asked question with the most asked questions which is that one question which her interview mein pucha jata hai Tell me something about yourself. So these are some of those questions which we have listed down. Tell me something about yourself. So how many of you are already prepared for telling me about yourself? Question. Are you ready? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Question. क्या बताएंगे आप? Tell me something about yourself. मैं आपको क्या बताना चाहिए? I am a girl or a boy <laughs> with with an age of 22 years from Baroda pursuing MBA marketing from Kathmandu Right wrong Okay I am Anjali I think uh, basically it should contain information about uh, what we want our interview to be uh, carried forward like topic like Uh, कुछ ऐसी इन्फॉर्मेशन जिससे वो uh, पूरा इंटरव्यू चल सके ये ये जब हम हम कॉलेज में पढ़ते थे ना तो हमको तो ये होता है इंटरव्यूअर को अपने एरिया ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ में लेके जाएंगे इसको इधर लेके जाएंगे हमको भी होता है मेरे पास भी होता है इसको अपने इधर लेके जाएंगे अंडरस्टैंड वो भी इधर से ही इधर आया वो सीधा इधर पे आया वो भी इधर ही था बहुत साल बहुत साल इधर उसने काम किया फिर वो ये सही कह रहा है तो मे नो सो व्हाट यू शुड डू इज एंड इट्स फाइन यू कैन ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट योर एरियाज ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ सो डोंट डोंट फील दी गाय और द गर्ल ऑन द अदर साइड इज अ इज अ फूल राइट दे मे इग्नोर सम ऑफ दी स्टफ व्हिच यू से बिकॉज़ बड़े हैं थोड़े विजडम है तो इग्नोर करना सीख जाते हैं ठीक है बच्चे हैं मतलब इट्स ओके बट डोंट फील दैट यू कैन सो द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज इट्स वेरी सिंपल आई थिंक एवरीबॉडी कैन टॉक डिफरेंटली आई जनरली पुट इट इन टू पीसेस सो फर्स्ट इज जस्ट अ वेरी 10 15 20 सेकंड्स ऑफ योर सीवी इंट्रोडक्शन क्या क्या है के यू नो आई एम लेट्स से फ्रॉम अ सर्टेन प्लेस Everybody knows that you're pursuing. वो इंटरव्यू आपका ले रहा है उसको पता है कि वो मार्केटिंग में इंटरव्यू ले रहा है उसको ये पता नहीं कहाँ लोग भी वो एफएमएस है वो भी पता ही है उसको। नहीं तो try and talk about things which are which you want to highlight about yourself. 10-15 seconds and then the another 5, 20, 15, 30 seconds whatever. It's talk about something which is not there in the scene, which makes you kind of you know more appropriate. It can be about your personal life. it can be something which you feel which you feel about the organization to har kisi ka iska script alag hoga matlab but be ready with that script because what the, the funny thing is i am actually sharing my examples right you know i have had this question ke okay why don't you introduce yourself and people have just got bored in that wohi answer nahi aa raha nahi aa raha matlab they just are not because there is anxiety वो चार पांच लोगों को आपने पहली बार ऐसे सामने बैठे देखा हुआ है एंड देन यू नो एवरीबॉडी स्टेयरिंग एट यू सो मेनी टाइम्स इट्स इट्स वेरी क्या होते ऑफेंडिंग यू नो पीपल गेट आपको माहौल का शिकार बन जाते हैं राइट सो 
ensure that you are at least you have prepared four, five, ten times. You you done a mock, and you know what the script that you want. Then what is it? Then what is it? Just to make things simple, I always say that you are. मुझे आपकी पर्सनल लाइफ के बारे में बताओ तो आपने सीवी में जाने भी कोई नहीं लिखा है कि आपके फादर क्या करते हैं मदर क्या करते हैं तो सो यू टॉक अबाउट इट सो वी डू एंड ऑफ मेक इट मोर इजी टू स्टार्ट विथ बट इफ यू आर वेल प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर दिस आंसर आई थिंक इट इट गिव्स यू अ ग्रेट स्टार्ट इट शोस अ सर्टेन लेवल ऑफ प्रिपरेशन एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन 70% ऑफ द इंटरव्यू दैट आई डू टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट योरसेल्फ और इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ is the question in which people don't do well and start from your grand project itself jab aap grand project ke andar aate hain tabhi mein bolte ho ki why don't you introduce yourself but dono people are just because there's just there's a confusion ki abhi kya bataye kya bolne so there's just because you don't know what to say fir aap koi bahar aake bola ki inko aisa pata nahi tha jaisa aapne bola tha आपके पहले जो आया है वो बाहर आके फिर सबको बताता है कि अंदर तो वो पूछे थे अंदर ऐसा पूछ रहे हैं आप सब आपका छोड़ के उसकी तैयारी में लगा राइट सो डोंट गेट ओवर वेट डू सम प्रैक्टिस व्हाई इट इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट्स अ क्वेश्चन व्हाई डू यू थिंक योर एस्पिरेशन आपका आपका एस्पिरेशन क्या है व्हाई डू यू थिंक दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज द राइट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर यू दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन व्हिच will get asked to you in some form or another the world may be different but spirit what what makes you feel that you're fit for this role why is organ why should we hire you etc where do you see yourself in 5 to 10 years is a question to 30 40% interviews mein pucha jata hai you so what people say ki mujhe manager banna hai don't answer in that sense what you should give an answer or what i look forward to an answer what is it that you would have achieved in 5 years and what is it that you would want to do in 5 years example that when you ask me why do you see after 5 years so your answer should be i should have at least had a good experience of a certain function i should actually be managing a portfolio of certain thousand crores certain crores or a portfolio of something in hr you can say that i should be at least the head of recruitment in this organization i should have recruited at least 1000 people etc etc talk in next sense don't say mere ko manager banne ka hai sir wo to bola acha to main to mere ko senior manager offer kar raha tha nahi dene ka offer abhi isko to piche aa gaya tha sir right so don't talk in terms of designations talk in terms of goals and what you would want to achieve or what you should be doing पांच साल में कोई ज्यादातर कोई सीईओ नहीं बनता है पांच साल में जनरली लोग हेड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट बन सकते हैं अगले सर्टिफिक यू आर से क्लीनर वे की साल बन जाती है सो व्हाट आर योर करियर गोल्स व्हाट आर योर एम्बिशन नाउ दिस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन व्हाट आर ये क्वेश्चन है ना एंड में जरूर पूछा जाता है व्हाट आर स्ट्रेंथ्स एंड वीकनेसेस सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल एक्चुअली अभी तो लोग समझ रहे हैं बट when i started my career lot of people said i don't have any weakness <laughs> no weakness at all <laughs> so what you should do is at least you should have one or two strengths one or two weaknesses have examples of it agar main aapko unko aap bole ki analytical ability is my strength that's it then i allow okay show me or tell me a time when you require you call it a strength when you should have examples ke you know as i event hua tha aur paise se kiya tha ya mere summer internship mein i had this problem and i kind of analyzed that problem if you say something as your strength and you don't have an example then i will conclude as an interviewer ke liye take right sari kare ko kare same is with weakness right so if you say that i am very emotional and i am too emotional for the work that i do right then you should have an example that you know Okay, so there was time when something happened. I got a little overwhelmed. I should have kind of you know done something better. And you can also add that I understood that this is my weakness, and I'm working on it to improve it so that it doesn't become kind of an impediment. 
तो ये होगा बहुत जरूरी है स्पोकन अबाउट एंड इफ यू आर वेल प्रिपेयर फॉर एन इंटरव्यू बिफोर एज आई से If you have done hard work in you know, an 18 months prior to facing that, I think it has to show in your body language. It has to show in your confidence level. It has to show in terms of the way you have done your preparations, and that all has to come together. And you should also kind of not be very anxious or very nervous about it. Thoda pet me, kind of you know, good body hona is good. But then once you sit in that chair in front. And when once you start the answer, I think everything has to kind of come together for you. And in case if you are stuck in a question, the last point, it's always to be saying that I don't think I know much about this topic. I don't know is okay. It may give you minus one point, minus one mark many times. But if you keep on blabbering, if you keep on bluffing, it can actually end your interview there. If you feel that there is a topic, there is a domain, there is an issue which you are not hands-on important है लेकिन नहीं पता है, you can always be very honest to say that it's important, but unfortunately I'm not kind of you know an expert or I'm not aware about it. I'll try and kind of study about it and kind of let you know, but अभी मुझे नहीं पता है. And then you end that point, and kind of you you move on to the next point. While I say this, you also make sure that her question का answer I don't know नहीं होना चाहिए. जैसा ये भी नहीं आता, ये भी नहीं आता, ये भी नहीं आता. उधर से भी यही आता है. तो ये risk आप ले सकते हो, but kind of if if you if you are not able to carry, I think your interview gets over. So it's it's good to kind of just to kind of summarize. It is good to say. That there is an area or a domain or an issue which you really don't know, and then move on to next point rather than kind of trying to kind of you know maneuver. Because सामने जो बैठा है वो आपसे ज़्यादा इनफॉरमेशन है, और उसने ज़्यादा दुनिया देखी है, उसको ज़्यादा पता है आपसे. So if you don't kind of you know fight in the domain in which you are not very comfortable. Now coming to the the match day. So what what is it that you should Do on the day of. Just assume that there is a campus interview lined up. I've done all done. I've CV done. I've 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 done. I I feel a little choked. I am I am not okay. Just be normal. आपको जो सही लगे, जैसा अच्छा लगे, जैसा comfortable लगे, wear those piece. But जो भी पहनो, neat, clean, high end होना चाहिए. I think you should because it's an MBA interview. You should look like a future prospective manager walking in for an interview. Have a very pleasant. Shoe, especially for uh, you know males. If you are wearing leather shoe, then ensure that it's polished, it's neat, clean. Ideally, if you have a formal pen, I have to ensure that you wear a kind of a formal shoe. There is an etiquette in terms of the sock color and and the shirt color. So please be sure that you know you you know the dressing etiquette. You know, I've seen a lot of uh, males when they come in shoe to polish, but they don't do. Kind of jurabe and jurabe and socks. So they are like, you know, like to go and you know, be just a little bit and even they are not kind of you know tight and the colors are also very kind of funky. So I think make sure that you are you very normal in terms. What I actually tell you is what when I was you, what I used to do is, जो कपड़े पहन के मैं कैंपस में जाने वाला हूँ, मैं वो कपड़े पहन के एक दो बार घर में घूमता था, मिरर के सामने थोड़ा, yes. बिकॉज़ हम हर रोज़ ये नहीं पहनते हैं तो जब हम इंटरव्यू के लिए पहनते हैं ना तो वी एक्चुअली फील अ लिटिल अनकंफर्टेबल मतलब इंडिया में सूट पहनना इज अ लिटिल अनकंफर्टेबल राइट सो मेक योर सेल्फ एंड अपेरेंटली अननेस एंड दैट कंपनी इज लाइक दिस आई थिंक लॉट ऑफ पीपल डोंट इवन एक्सपेक्ट यू टू बी वेयरिंग अ सूट जस्ट 
a normal formal where should be fine. But you work as a as a as a student group or a placement team or as a as a committee can decide what you want to wear. So whatever you wear, make sure you're comfortable. You worn it before. It is neat, clean. Hair comb, do not need. You know, don't be very jazzy. When you enter the room, ensure that all your documents are like arranged properly. You carry your file or a folder or a bag, whatever it is. But just ensure that the entry is done. Because Rajini Khan ki movie mein entry hoti hai na, usi mein aada hui to fail ho jata hai. So your entry should also be, you know, very easy, confident. Because you know, when you are looking at it, when somebody is entering, you look at it and make try making some impression. It's okay to be kind of you know, normal, confident, pleasant. <clears throat> Establish a connect with a uh, with, so you know look into eyes and they don't and आराम से देखो ना मैं जनवरी मैं जब भी कैंपस में भी रहता हूँ तो मैं जो भी अंदर आता हूँ उसको पहले बोलता हूँ पहले तीन गहरी सांस लो बैठ के तो मैं इसको कहने के लिए sit down, absorb the environment. Start. It's nothing wrong. It is taking five seconds, two seconds, three seconds time to sit, understand, get acquainted with the environment, and then start. And I think people also don't mind. <coughs> question to ask the panel. You and me are asking. Okay. Any questions you have? Now you can ask questions. You may not want to ask a question. It's a completely your choice. But if you decide to ask a question, don't ask a stupid question. Okay, is the result the way? Am I selected? No, no, no. Am I selected? Do you want to give me a feedback? Then go. Can I have an interview? Why would you want to? So, be generally after questions, क्या होने चाहिए? कि क्यों रोल को लेके होने चाहिए? कंपनी के बारे में होने चाहिए? And you can say, okay, okay. What the? So I didn't know this piece of the job. Can you tell me? A location, something related to job or something related to something about the organization which you kind of you want to ask. If you are not very confident, it's okay not to ask a question. But it will be very stupid of you to ask a very kind of you know, stupid question. So please resist. So again, uh, be punctual, be polite, be prepared, be positive. It makes sense for you to do what I did. At least, के जब कैंपस मेरा let's say I am next and the previous person have gone inside, then apparently I was to just go outside collect myself because क्या होता है कि जो आया है बाहर वो बहुत सारी चीजें आपको बता रहा है मतलब यू नो एंड इस चीज़ ये पूछ रहे हो और you are talking है आपने अगर 18 महीने में कुछ नहीं किया तो 18 महीने में हम कुछ नहीं कर सकेंगे right so it is good to be और हर किसी का इंटरव्यू अलग होता है किसी को same question repeat होते नहीं Right? Because as she said that you know inter interviews can kind of go any direction based on you know what you bring on table. I think questions are very different for different people. So don't don't try and get panic based on somebody else's kind of you know input. I think be yourself. Right? I think interview लेने जो बैठा है उसने बहुत सारे लोगों से interview की उनको पता है क्या पूछना है क्या नहीं पूछना है. वह सब क्वेश्चन बैंक लेते नहीं बैठा के चल इसको आप चार पूछेंगे इसको बाकी पांच पूछेंगे आई थिंक वेरी फ्री फ्लोइंग वेरी ओपन एंड राइट नाउ कम्स द इम्पोर्टेंट पीस ऑफ यू नो आफ्टर द इंटरव्यू का ना यू नो लेट्स सेय वो इंटरव्यू जा वो आई राइट नाउ लॉट ऑफ पीपल जस्ट विजिट द इंटरव्� कनेक्ट रिक्वेस्ट और कनेक्ट करेगा तो पूछेगा कि थैंक्स फॉर कमिंग यू आर अमेजिंग आई रियली लाइक दिस कैंड ऑफ यू नो गेटिंग इट ऑफ नो नाइट काम करता है वो सब चीजें राइट सो आई थिंक जस्ट जस्ट रेजिस्ट योरसेल्फ फ्रॉम बीइंग टू स्मार्ट अबाउट इट आई थिंक यस यू कैन ऑलवेज हैव अ कैजुअल चैट इन केस इफ एन इंटरव्यू पैनल इज ओपन मे बी ड्यूरिंग लंच जनरली हम क्या करते हैं कि कैंपस के बाद भी इंटरेक्ट विद स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन ऑलवेज बी नेचुरल बट डोंट Don't try and flatter somebody that you know. Okay, you know, you know, you know, either say either I know. So, sabka hai. Like, wait for the result. I think company is here, so company will for sure tell you all the results. And 
after the interview, you hardly have any influence on what the results will be. So the only thing that I can do is wait for the ultimate result. Follow the guidelines of faculty and placement. And you know, I, last time when I was here, I requested them to create a protocol that you know, offer will come, how will it come, what will it come, how will it come, I am sure it will come, but see that there are some uh, protocols of the faculty and placement team and which you make and you actually give it to everybody so that everybody knows about it. Third thing, uh, fourth thing which happens is that you know, once you get the offer, uh, which I am sure everybody will and that some juncture, all of you in this room will get it. It makes sense to go through the offer letter in detail, understand what it means, what is the CTC. The CTC is very subjective. Try and understand cost to the company, kya hai, kitna hai, ga, kaise hai ga. And once you have completely made up your mind, say yes or no. Or I don't know how it happens. Pahle khana bolke campus mein bhaitna hota hai, ya offer ke baad khaya na bolna hota hai, mujhe nahi bata hai. Now how is it? After the company offers, do you have an option of saying no? No. no. So when when do you have option of deciding or yeah. sitting for the campus? No. Yeah. 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 So once they sit for the campus and they select it, they don't have option of saying no. No. So do you all know the job description before you say yes or no? Yes. 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 So I will ask you again. Let's say that Ami Life Sciences has reached out to you that we need one marketing, one finance, one HR, one operations. Okay. And I have told you that you have shared your team with your team. And then let's say there are some of them, they say yes, some of them say no, right? So do they know the job description yes. and the compensation before saying yes or no? Yes. Yes. Thus no, yes, no, yes, no, no, and yes. Yes, sir. So everybody knows. Yes. But I know, I can't say it. Because first year, 22, when I did a campus year, I hired six people. I had offered six people and apparently everybody joined a different organization. They didn't join us. Right, so my whole campus season went on. I didn't go to any other college. And I, I, I was left without a person in the league. Right, so it makes sense to make everything very clear. It's, it's good to say no up front. Because once you are offered and you say no, it actually wastes lot of efforts of the recruiting organization. So let's say we offer four people and we have three people who are not going to join. So, two things are going to happen. One is an impression that the other is going to happen. And the third is going to happen. And the third is going to happen. So, it's an opportunity loss also for the organization and the faculty. So, please ensure that you have all these protocols very clearly kind of, you know, put in place.
the interview, when your CV is getting shortlisted, depending on what company is looking for. For example, we are a pharmaceutical company, so we generally prefer people with science background. Let's say if I'm looking at a marketing and operations, we really look forward to people with a bit of science background, so that's what we deal with. So in that case, it matters. But once you're shortlisted and you've called somebody for interview, apparently doesn't doesn't count extremely high in the way. It may, there may be some questions that we may want to check. But because we have, we know about it and we have called you for interview, apparently you clear that threshold. And sir, how can I make sure that it is not a hurdle for me while uh, applying for If you are confident about what you've done, it will never be a hurdle. It's like saying that if you've done something which is very unique and nobody wants it, it's a decision which you took before a couple of years, which is an incorrect one. But if a company shortlists you, I think then then it doesn't count for much. You are right. But I have honestly, I have never seen that before. That someone's graduation degree is so much negative that he doesn't get any opportunity. <laughs> No, there are companies which will, for example, I have, Madam knows, I have a very strong bias for engineers. That I would, in the first year when I came for interview, I said, I only need engineers and MBA. And she recommended uh, a person to me and I said, can you ask me CV to reject her? I mean, I'm a VCOM, 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 I'm a Kind of insisted that we know to say so just because of kind of you know the respect that I have for her and her kind of you know inputs. I interviewed Yogita and apparently she is among among the best recruits that I have had in kind of you know my professional career. So that happened to at Devanshi, who is also I think an engineer and we had Swati who was an engineer so now my bias is gone in a way right? so you know let's say Reena she is an engineer so we both have very pro bias for engineers but we will be humbled in that sense so that's the thing right? just to answer your question I think graduation ka kuch level pe impact hota hai but aisa nahi hoga ki after graduation ke wajah se aapko matlab agar they see Hindi, they say, but it's not going to happen. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So I think this has covered everything. I just will uh, sort of share a few things. Just get these three points uh, very correct and you doing this process. One is get your basic base strong, you know, because if building ka base is weak, hoga, to building nahi ban And at the first glance, if you are hesitating, if your core knowledge mein hi banna, utna fit nahi hai, to agar koi impact hi nahi hoga. We won't select that person, right? So get your base clear. Second, be extremely honest. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with that person who is interviewing you, right? Right? Everybody? Yeah. And third thing, never lose your heart. Never. Right? Once your campus hiring would be started and a few chunk of people would be selected, few cluster would be thinking that we are yet to get selected. Don't lose heart. You'll get selected. Work hard, work smart, and keep thriving. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Further questions for the day of time, we are available. Do let me or her know in case if you want to discuss this topic. And you know, I am sure that you know there are a lot of lot of topics and talks around this topic. Uh, when I was looking uh, at, at the agenda, I think four five topics. Yes, and so yehi two minutes ke baad kar raha hu. Where I am left, I think Parvez is going to kind of you know take it forward from there. So all the best, and I I I hope that next year. We hundred percent placement to guarantee hai, but uh, our average salary from seven point five goes to seventeen point five.
ब्रेकिंग न्यूज है कॉन्फिडेंस के बारे में बात किया अभी नहीं है थैंक यू सो फॉर शेयरिंग योर गाइडेंस फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर द इंटरव्यूज नाउ आई वुड इनवाइट अ डीप मैम फॉर गिव ऑन ब्रिंग आवर गेस्ट विद द मोमेंटम्स लाइव चल फोटो ले <laughs> <laughs> 